Hey guys, welcome to Thriddle World. Our wooden filament has finally arrived. I'm very happy that we both are very excited for this wooden filament. Let me tell you one thing. This is not a sponsor video. So without any further ado, let's unbox this filament. This is a 1 kg wooden filament from New Makers with 1.75 mm diameter. It requires a temperature around 192 to 20 degrees Celsius. They have mentioned the speed should be within 40 to 100 mm per second, but I usually print at 50 mm per second. So today, also I am using the same settings for this. Wooden filament consists of plastic and wooden particles. Look at this. I hope you can notice the tiny wooden particles in it and look at its finishing. It looks like a cardboard. So let's print it. But before printing, one important thing to do is to change the nozzle. It is recommended to use a 0.6mm nozzle to print this filament. The reason behind it, this filament is consists of tiny wooden fibers so small nozzle size might create a problem in extracting process like clogging which will jam the nozzle and your print might not get proper finishing. So don't forget to change the nozzle and recommended settings. Now that we have set everything, let's start printing the basic cube. Look at this, it already looks like a wooden cube and actually smells like a woody fragrance. Smells like a carpenter work is going on, but not that overpowering. Look at this cube, finishing exactly look like a wood and has some rough finishing and matty look. Exactly like a raw wooden log and it actually smells like a raw wooden log but very mild fragrance. Now let's do a sanding process. For that I have taken a 320 and 800 grit sandpaper for smoothing. Gently sand it. See, it looks smooth now. To make it look like a wood, let's apply the varnish. I have taken an Asian paint varnish, you can use any other brand. And I have purchased the brown pigment powder for darker color. See, it's clear coat varnish. But I have added a brown pigment powder to give my print some dark wooden look. Steer it properly and apply it on our prints. You can also use a spray paints for a different wooden shades. Let it dry for 6 hours and take a look on it. It's dried properly. Check out my other prints. They look awesome. Look at this vase. With wooden filament, it exactly looks like a wooden vase. Look at this basket. It also looks good with wooden filament. And this wooden filament is vest if you can't print a groot, right? So here it is. Look at this. The details are very clear and amazing. Look at this sharp wooden fine lines. It exactly look like a wood. So let's conclude it. It is a good filament at this price. But this company offers only one shade of wooden filament which is light brown. So they need to provide some more wooden shades options like a dark brown. Other than that, there is one more important thing I have noticed that this filament needs 0.6 mm nozzle size whereas most of the company filaments prints at default 0.4 mm nozzle. So I don't know what's the reason behind it. But with this filament, I think the wooden fibers are not that fine to come out smoothly from 0.4 mm nozzle. That's why they recommended 0.6 mm nozzle, which is kind of a hectic or time consuming process. I have a multiple printers, so I don't have any problem. I can use one dedicated printer for a wooden prints. But if you have only one printer, it is kind of a hectic process for you to change the nozzle every time. So it's a drawback I think. And one more problem I have faced is I can see a lot of stringing on these prints. I think so it's because I need to do a retraction settings or it because of a wooden particles. If you are facing the same problem with a wooden filament then let me know in the comment section. Other than that, it's a wooden filament so we cannot expect glossy finishing from it. You can get a rough matty look like a raw wooden material. I can see it's worth spending if you want to experiment new filaments. 
If you want me to try any other filaments, then comment down. Some interesting useful wooden 3D prints video is coming on next. So stay tuned. Till then, take care, goodbye.